Hey guys, it's me again, and this time we are in Heroic Dracotheron Keep, and this is, I guess, one of the longer dungeons it, dungeons in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. This is the group layout. We had a Hunter, Druid, Death Knight, myself a Warrior, and uh, Hunt, I don't know, something else. I'll, you'll figure it out. So the first boss is um, interesting. When you aggro him, I believe you have two adds that come with you. I don't know if these were the adds that were just random pats or they were actually with the boss, but I believe they are with the boss. So, as usual, kill the adds first. This boss does nothing except, um, what's it called? Uh, does something that, like, it, he eats a corpse from behind him and that'll increase his damage done. And he also does a corpse explosion, which he'll exp explode one of those corpses that I just saw there. Um, explode those corpses which does an AoE. Other than that, um, he does nothing too fancy schmancy. I just said fancy schman. I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. The next boss is another gauntlet. Um, there's a lot of these in the dungeons nowadays. But what you want to do is you want to have at least two or at least one DPS just up here chilling, killing the, killing the ads that spawn. And every once in a while, no Novos will spawn, summon a one of these guys towards him. You want the tank always at the bottom of the steps to be able to pick those up because the guys that come off the top of the stairs are non-elites and easily soloable. Just keep like a hot on the person that's doing it. But the people that uh, the person that Novos summons is an elite, but he's not that hard as you see. I just owned him basically. And after I don't know, you go through a couple waves of these guys, you will start the Novos, the summoner encounter. Alright, once you start the boss, um, he does not have an aggro table and will not, you cannot tank him. So he will randomly cast things at random party members. He, what he does is he spawns these adds as you just saw. He loves to cast frost bolts, um, he loves to cast blizzard, and he loves to cast arcane blasts. All AoEs, or not all AoEs, but all really high damage spells. Um, I don't think any of them are silenceable, because he's immune as I just saw there. But, uh, that's about it. He also has a curse, which does... Um, like 2k damage for 2 to 8 seconds to a party member. Uh, so basically, keep a heal on whoever just got hit. So this next boss, we were doing achievement, which required us to kill five of these raptors. But um, the boss himself, he's quite easy, except he's a high hitter. Um, he loves the fear, so um, try to have like a fear breaker on you. He also summons adds, uh, raptors, which you need to kill. Another thing he does is um, he does an AOE, I think, which damages all enemies around him. And on Heroic, he does something called Menacing Claw, which is an uh, attack which does about 15,000 to 18,000 damage on plate. Um, just heal through it. Other than that, he's very easy. You just want to kill the adds, um, tank him, f break your fear, and uh, heal. Because he he has some other attacks, but they're nothing too special. They do a lot of da like they don't do a lot of damage, like 5k, 2k, stuff like that. This is the infi this is the final encounter of Dracthar and Keep. I think it's a pretty cool fight. Um, what you do, every like, I don't know, whatever, like 10%, let's say, he's going to turn you into a skeleton, at which point, this is where he starts turning you into a skeleton, at which point you have new spells, you have four spells, um, I don't remember all of them, so number two is taunt, three is bone armor, four is something where you take away his life, and one is just something that builds, I don't know, that's just, that's just damage, you want to keep hitting that, um, number one, and then whenever your bone shield comes off cooldown, use that. Um, you want to. Everyone in the party wants to tank or taunt off each other so no one dies. But then he's eventually going to turn you back into your old character. Um, what he does is he has a curse of life, which deals shadow damage every three to every three seconds for nine seconds. Um, but this goes away if you fall below 50% of your maximum health. He also does something called I Beam, which is a channeled ability dealing uh, like a thousand damage. On heroic, it's two thousand every two seconds for five seconds. And he has a poison cloud, which 
everyone should know not to stand in poison clowns by now. Like, I don't think I have to explain it. And he has an A two AoEs, one called Rain of Fire, one called Shadow Volley. And each of them do about 3.7k to 4.5k damage. Um, yeah, so that's it, basically. Um, he AoEs, so keep heals. During, when you're a skeleton, it's 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, 1, 1, and repeat. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Good luck in this dungeon, and see you next time. Just one more thing is that after you kill the boss, this th th cinematic thing or whatever happens with the Lich King, it's pretty cool. Um, I, th I found I found it entertaining.